So this is actually my first time back on the ice in Horlock Park since the Guinness World Record attempts last year and um, the Discovery Channel Daily Planet filming, which is pretty cool to think. I mean, it's almost been a year. It's been like 11 months pretty much. So I'm out here with my trusty condor. It's not too cold. It's like minus 10 right now. So I did have to take a little, little bit of a break. I mean, once you start skating, the uh, the cold definitely gets to you. But um, absolutely perfect conditions. This is probably the earliest that I've been on the ice at Horlock Park ever. This will be my fourth year attempting the records. And typically I get down the week before. Um, so this is nice. It's a month away. And uh, got to really want to check out the ice. You can see way in the background, those are the ice castles. Um, or ice castle, I guess it's massive. Can't really tell the scale from here, but absolutely enormous. So anyway, this is the setting for the Silver Skate Festival 2018. I will be uh, attempting to break my three Guinness World Records and World Flying Disc Federation records for self called flat and ice. So we have MTA, TRC, and SCF, and uh, you can click on the links in the description below to find out more about what those actually mean. A lot of you are probably familiar with MTA from videos I've done, videos Brody Smith has done in the past. And then Jill, my friend Jill and Jenny are also going to be attempting to break the women's records. So um, Jill has four of the records. She has two Guinness records, two WIFTF records, and Jenny has one Guinness record, one WIFTF record. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be exciting. I mean, we're starting. The three of us are going to be training together this weekend. I have a lot of new knowledge now. I just spent a couple days in Ontario with Kelly. Lockwood, who is, as I've said a couple times, and the more I get to know her, the more I think it's probably the truth, is the expert in the world on, and this is the thing, I think I sold her a little short last time I said, you know, skate sharpening, but she also knows skating techniques really well. So not only does she advise people and, and help me out with, you know, the contours and the profiles of, of skate, the hollows, but also how to skate properly for more power, more speed. Um, and so that's, that's really cool, I think. Because when I'm doing this on grass, my limiting factor is how fast can I run. And so when I first started doing this, you know, five years ago, I think the first time I attempted it was 2015. So yeah, almost five years ago. Or my math is not very good. <laughs> no, it's 13. Yeah, so 2013, so five years ago. I thought I knew how to skate. You know, I was skated until grade five as a figure skater, then switched to hockey. I was always the fastest skater on my hockey team. I thought skating, no problem, I have it nailed. But what well, you don't know, you don't know. And turns out I didn't know a lot about skating. So last year was really the start of that education and that continued last week. So I've learned more in a year than I learned the first you know, 34 years of my skating, which is pretty amazing. So if you do something now, if you're, you know, if you think you're an expert in something, if you think you're really good at something, go to an expert. <laughs> all, it, all it took was me to reach out to somebody that knew a lot more than I did, and she was able to tell me very quickly, yeah, we can get you doing more things, we can get you faster. And so now I feel like my limiting factor out here is the throwing, not the skating, which is interesting. Um, and now, honestly, I have no idea how fast I can get but just the work that I did with them on the skating treadmill last week, um, if you didn't see clips, I'll include some clips in this video. It's definitely helped me just think more about my technique. Um, I didn't get on it enough to really build the muscles, build the, the muscle memory, so I'm gonna have to work on that out here. A little easier to cheat out here for sure. When you're on a skating treadmill, if you lean forward too much, your skate slip, you fall. Here, you can kind of get away with it a little more. So. Um, I really have to work on keeping back, keeping the shoulders up, keeping um, the chest up, and getting as much power as possible over my skates, because the more weight you have over your skates, the more power you're going to get in your stride, and that's that's the goal. It's not about short strides, it's about long, powerful strides, and that's something, you know, is from, from speed skating, and so it's translating that. I did get my blades profiled again today. It's been uh, about a year. Well... I guess 11 months since last uh, event. So I did get them uh, profiled. I went to Professional Skate in Edmonton, the uh, the organization the, that I worked with last year. So Sean, thanks a lot for your help on that. He actually uh, heat fitted my skates today, so they do feel a lot better. They were, um, my feet were hurting the last couple times. Usually, you know, you get out on your skates, you haven't skated in a while, that does hurt, but I definitely feel that they do fit better than, than last time. But he also profiled them, um, kept the 15 foot contour, 
and, uh, and I asked him, like, maybe I should go with a shallower hollow for more glide. Um, I didn't feel like um, the grip was an issue at all. I felt like, if anything, I had a little too much grip. So my profile last year was 5 8 and so we moved, moved up to 3 quarters. So it's only an eighth of an inch more, but um, a little more glide, right? Like, that means I can throw it a little bit further and trust that I can have the speed to get there to make that catch. So um, training vlog is going to be starting up again. Um, just... It's, I feel like a kid out here, you know, there's people skating around and, um, it's, I love it. I absolutely love it. So, um, Edmonton this week, I'll be back in Calgary on the weekend and be training at Bonas Lagoon there, which is our, our typical training area. But it's also good to just get, remind myself the altitude in Edmonton, how different it is. It's quite a bit different. Um, Calgary is about a thousand meters, Edmonton is about 500 meters. So it makes a huge difference when you're throwing, you don't get as much glide. Um, and so that's something that, uh, it's good for me to know now because when I go back to Calgary, I'm going to have all these high towering throws, big times, big distance, and uh, it's harder to get that in Edmonton. So it'll be uh, a little, little humbling. Um, well, it'll be it'll be a confidence boost going back to Calgary, but coming back again to Edmonton in a couple weeks, it'll be a little humbling for me. But you just have to learn to adapt, right? It's important to train in a variety of conditions, different winds, different temperature, different altitudes so that you can adjust as you go. But knowing exactly the altitude I'm gonna be competing in, really the, the variables are the wind and the temperature. The temperature definitely flex, affects the flight a lot, but uh, so does the wind. So it's really just learning how to maximize it. That's why my slogan is let the wind guide you because when I show up, I can't change the wind. <laughs> I can't change the temperature. Um, so it's let the wind guide you, check what the wind is, and you adjust and adapt. And, uh, and that's, that's what you have to try and do to get your best throw. So anyway, here I'm at uh, Horlock Park in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, training for the 2018 Silver Skate Festival. Stay tuned for more updates um, all the time. I'm going to be doing more uh, training vlogs and just general vlogs about definitely skating. Um, I think that's a huge one that uh, is just, there's not enough people that know about it, and it's really surprising, actually. Again, I skated, figure skated, played hockey for many years and had no clue. Um, so I'm actually going to be partnering up with Professional Skate. We're going to be offering a discount on profiling. So I'm going to be looking to connect with local hockey teams, um, primarily in Edmonton for that. Um, it's going to be a pretty good deal. And my biggest focus is just on education, right? I'm not making any money off of this at all. At all. Um, it's all about me trying to get people to just know, you know, the skate's on your feet. How can you, um, how can you maximize the speed, the glide? How can you optimize the way that they're, they're sharpened? And also think about your technique a little bit. So Professional Skate has partnered with Quantum Speed. So Professional Skate deals with the blades and the skates. And Quantum Speed teaches you how to skate better, better faster, and more power, better technique, all that kind of stuff. So um, really important to um, recognize the things that you don't know and go to people that, uh, that do know. And uh, it'll enhance your life in many, many ways, trust me. Anyway, hope everyone's having a great day. And uh, it's nice to be back out west, seeing Davey. And Davey, it was, uh, it was really nice to see him last night. Some of you saw the video of how excited he was. I'm excited to get into a lot more time with my, uh, my little furry best friend here. So, again, hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.